Okay guys, so I'm back for one final video of Acer vs HP. Uh, I spent more time with these laptops, this time going through pictures and video quality, because in general, uh, I'm an actor, so I have a lot of pictures, I do a lot of video editing, I have scenes and clips and trailers from videos I'm in, so I was finally ready to dig in deep with that. So I'm going to show you some examples of some pictures, and we'll go through the quality. So, on the left we have the HP, on the right we have the Acer. See on the right with the Acer, the skin tone looks a little red. Um, but the blue looks nice. The black ground looks slightly blue for some reason. On the left with the HP, the skin tone looks better, more normal, clean. Nice white background. I do remember when I shot this headshot, we had a white background, so it seems like the colors are more accurate on the left. Go to the next picture. This is me in uniform, ready for action. Again, we look at the picture on the right, which is the Acer. Skin looks a little red. Um, I do like the green, though. The green in the camo seems to pop a little more. The background is totally white on, like, the, uh, the building, and it's not supposed to be. On the left, you can see that all the walls have more definition and a little, I don't know, brownish, blackish, grayish to them, which they should. Uh, the brown looks better, picture on the left, and just looks like how the picture is supposed to be more in general. Okay, so here's a photo right here with all uh, crazy colors and graphics. It's custom made by a director friend of mine. So, what we have here is a better picture on the left again with the HP. The colors look how they're supposed to, they look even on the right. Colors look a little blurred. Red looks just too thick. Um, skin doesn't really look as correct. Slightly blur blurred, maybe. Alright. So here's a picture of me doing a little kung fu fighting. Uh, big differences here, and these are nice two full-size pictures. Uh, on the left, HP looks crystal clear. Skin tone looks right. You look at the sky, it's mostly white with a little bit of blue. On the right with the Acer, there's just way too much blue. I really don't think the sky was that blue that day. Um, again, with the Acer, the skin tone looks a little red, you know, in the arms. And if you go down to the bricks on the bottom, the bricks look really white. And if you look at the HP on the left, the bricks have a little brown to them, they have a little color, and that's how they're supposed to. Um, you know, look at the big statue like uh whatever you want to call it in the background uh it's got the dark brown rust type color the structure just looks real how it's supposed to all right it looks a little gray a little faded um which isn't correct so here's a picture on a mustang um one thing i didn't really get to, to mention yet is the blacks really look black on hp how they're supposed to be so the picture on the left with the Mustang, I mean, the car looks black. On the right, it doesn't look as black. Um, you know, that's a factor. Also, the screens, the border, I don't know if you can see it, but, uh, you know, the border in the background is really dark and black how it should be. With the Acer, you know, the borders, they're slightly gray. It's not a solid black. And you'll notice that in the borders of all the pictures. Um, also, if you look at the grass uh, on the right, you just see, like, the dirt and not as much grass for some reason, not as much color. The HP on the left, you can actually see the ground, the color, the grass, the grass where it's faded. It's not just dull and flat, like on the right with the Acer. Um, you look at the black ground, uh, you know, deeper into the background. I, I do like how the Acer has the greens really look good in the dark background, but on the... HP, you can see the greens and, you know, slight yellows in there, a mixture of everything. So that's a little difference. Here's the last picture, which is me as a law-abiding citizen dressed in uniform a little bit. Again, what pops to me is the skin tone on the right. I look red on the Acer again. And you see the jacket doesn't really have that dark black look. It almost looks like navy. And on the left with the HP, skin tone looks good. 
Jacket looks nice and black. Same with the hat, how it should be. All right, guys, so that's the photo part of the test, and then we'll go into a little video. Guys, yeah, so this is the video part of the test for the screens. Again, we got the HP on the left, Acer on the right. This is a trailer from Film I'm In on YouTube in HD. So you can check out the differences for yourself here, video side by side. Uh, in my opinion, on the left, the HP, the colors just look, you know, correct. They look how they should be. You know, they look lifelike. On the right, with the Acer, they're just a little more flat. Uh, they don't pop as much. Um, I really like everything about the Acer, all the features, light up keyboard, all that good stuff. But the screen, you know, the Ace, HP wins on the screen test. Um, me being an actor, doing a lot of video editing with pictures, videos, whatnot, the screen is really important to me. So I kind of wish we could just combine both laptops, or if Acer in the future just gets a better screen or an IPS screen. Um, you know? There's a lot of bottle caps right there, by the way. I think the director drinks a lot of soda. He was showing it off. And I remember this guy with the gun was saying he wants the caps. That's me right there saying, come on, let's get some uh, soda. Everybody's following, everybody's thirsty. So even the walkway right here, on the right, it looks just too white. On the left, it's got a little color on the walkway. Um, you know, so that's really about it, guys. And again, this is the third video, so hopefully it helps you make your decision if you're going to make a purchase. If you do purchase one of these laptops, right in the description I posted direct links on Amazon where you can purchase the Acer or the HP. Also, if you wanted to upgrade the RAM for the uh, Acer, that link is directly on Amazon. And if you click through my links, it is appreciated. Uh, and if you didn't buy now, please subscribe to my YouTube page. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. If you got any questions and comments, just leave them below. I'll get back to you like I always do. Always try and help everybody out. So good luck with your future purchases and life in general. Live it to the fullest and enjoy it. All right, all right.